Imagine if there was a way where we could get endless, unlimited free energy like electricity. How cool would it be if there was like a device, like an extension cord where you just plug it into itself and this created its own electricity where you could plug in like a light and it would start glowing and creating its own power. Well, what if I told you a device like this actually exists? This device right here is called the EcoFlow Delta Max and it makes free energy possible. And I know that sounds crazy, but let me explain. A few months ago, I was hit by a category four hurricane and the eye of the storm was directly over my apartment in Fort Myers, Florida. Only 32 hurricanes have made landfall as a category four since 1851. I faced winds of up to 150 miles per hour and lost power and water for four consecutive days. During this time, supermarkets were closed and a few gas stations that were open had lines miles long. This made me realize I need to prepare for events like this and a normal generator just isn't going to cut it. That's when I discovered EcoFlow. This device can turn sunlight into legitimate power. And this made me realize not only can this save me in an emergency, but it can also lower my utility bills. So now that you have the basics down of what you need to know about the EcoFlow Delta Max, it's a pretty incredible device. And today I'm gonna test it out a little bit just to show you what it's capable of. And in this nice Florida sunny day, we'll be able to bring it outside, plug it into a solar panel and see how much power this bad boy can deliver. So briefly speaking, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Max is a new solar portable power station that is more efficient than your normal gas generator. No noise, no smell, and most importantly, no carbon monoxide. It's made from a lithium ion battery known as NMC and is the ideal emergency power solution that can power an entire home. It has a 2400 watt output and a charge time of only zero to 80% in just 65 minutes with AC power. And on solar, it can take as little as two and a half hours. Even in non-emergencies, this device can help drastically lower your utility bills. And the best part is EcoFlow allows you to connect multiple power stations together to offer a maximum power output of over 7200 watts. So what makes a device like this so unique is how versatile this is. As you can see, there's a ton of outlets on here, and this is just one side. So unlike a normal portable battery, which maybe offers only one or two outlets that you can plug in, which is only USB, this thing dies and can maybe charge your phone one time. But this thing can charge your phone like 40 times. And I just want to show you a cool unique things about it. As you guys can see, the EcoFlow offers four different types of USB ports. Two are regular, and then the other two are fast charge. The best part is they even offer two USB-Cs. And then on the back of the device, they offer six outlets that you can plug pretty much anything into. And then they even have multiple ways to charge the device, which is from a wall outlet and from solar. Or even through a car, you just plug in your car cigarette lighter and you can charge this bad boy up. What most people don't realize is that common household things that you use can actually draw a lot of electricity. And surprisingly, this manages to power it. If we take this fridge, for example, how much power do you really think this could be drawn? Well, if we look right here, it'll give us what exactly it is. Total defrost heater is 600 watts. The ice maker is 145 watts. So in total, we're getting close to 800 watts of power. Now, for those who think the fridge draws a lot of electricity, check this out. This is a normal portable air fryer, which most people probably use all the time and don't realize how much power it can actually draw. Well, if you look at the back, it tells us this is 1500 watts of power to run. I have another device here too. This is most people know as, as a George Foreman. This has a total output wattage of 760 watts just to run this little device here. The point I'm trying to make here is that even though these things can draw a lot of electricity, this device right here is able to power it. And what that means is anything that can plug in lower than like 2000 watts is pretty much free electricity and free energy. So let me just show you the possibilities of using a device like this. Let's say I wanted to cook some breakfast for today. We went in and we grabbed ourselves our blender here, which you can see. A device like this takes a total of 1000 watts to power this, which means we should be able to use our portable solar generator right here to make us some breakfast. So let's see how it works.
What really makes this device simple is how easy it is to use and the fact that I can use it in my own kitchen. All you gotta do is plug it in, press the AC on and the power button, and you're pretty much good to go. The best part is the digital screen that's displayed actually tells you the exact output and input of watts that you're using and even how many hours of power you have left using that amount of wattage. Tastes pretty good for a free smoothie. So the one thing I really wanna show you guys is how easy this thing is to charge. Granted, I am in an apartment complex, so it is just a tiny bit harder, but if you had your own house, and even in an apartment complex, it's still pretty easy to do, but before I actually go and charge it, I have to figure out a way to drain this. So what I'm thinking about doing is moving my fridge and then plugging in a bunch of crap to it to drain it quicker and then we'll go outside and test it out and show you guys how I can literally get free energy and you know how I like free from this device right here. Well, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is pull this fridge out so I can get to the outlet behind it, which means I have to really pull this pretty hard. So I know what you're thinking, why go through all this work for a generator? To answer that, I don't really have any other options and most people don't either. Nobody really has the money for a home generator and then when they do, you still have to spend money on natural gas. This is also perfect for an apartment. You can see on the front, we're already starting to draw power. And this is a pretty cool thing to show you. Currently, the fridge is only drawing an output power of 95 watts. And this is pretty much what it's gonna run at. As you guys can see, the hours have actually changed from 99 now to 15, which means we can run this fridge completely on for a total of 15 hours before this battery actually goes to zero. Now, in order to show you guys the charging process, I wanna get this down just a little bit from maybe 100 to 50 or 70% so that I can actually show you how to charge this with a solar panel. All right, so I realized the fridge was going to take way too long to drain this battery down. So I decided to get whatever high wattage device that I had laying around to hopefully help drain this battery down. And it did just that. Although it did take about two to three hours to drain down, I finally got it down to 80%. Now it's officially down to 80%, which means we can finally test this bad boy out and charge it and I can show you how we get free power. What's also really unique about EcoFlow is not only do they sell the portable solar generators, they also sell solar panels, which makes it really cool. And what's even better is they make them portable as well portable solar panels that offer quite a lot of range. Now the one that I bought is a 400 watt solar panel, but really quickly, I just wanna show you how much these actually weigh. All right, here we go. It currently weighs 47 pounds. So it does hold a bit of weight, to be honest with you. All right, so with this solar panel currently on the scale, you can see it's reading about 42 pounds. So in total, this is 47 and this is 42 pounds for the solar panel. And that's including this case that, that covers the solar panel. All right, so I have the solar panel outside, clear in the sun, you can't even see it, it's so bright, but it's currently about 1.20 p.m. So I'm gonna check this, set this up, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of me setting this up. Because this is the first time I'm actually setting this thing up outside, I heard it's, uh, it can be difficult, but we'll see if that's actually true or not. All right, so setup took me about 10 minutes. It really wasn't that difficult. Uh, I've watched a few other videos on YouTube showing it, but it's pretty simple to set up. It just folds into four separate pieces, and then you just attach the little hooks to the top and two hooks to the bottom, and that's pretty much it. So guys, if you wanna pick up your own portable solar generator, the link is down in the description. Today's video is not sponsored by EcoFlow, but I do have an affiliate link which does help support the channel, but definitely go check the link out down in the description below. All right, so just by looking at the sun, I could kind of get the general direction of where I should place the uh, solar panel, but when you do purchase one of the EcoFlows, it doesn't come with the solar panel, but with the actual 
actual EcoFlow Delta Max Pro or one of their models, it does come with the kit which gives you all the cables. This is what you need in order to charge the device. It gives you a few different things which I want to show you right now. The first is a cable that will allow you to actually use that solar panel right there, plugging it into the EcoFlow to give it power, which we'll see in a second that I want to show you guys, but it does come with a few other things. The second thing it comes with is something that you can use to charge from your car, as I showed you, I think earlier today, if not, it comes with a, uh, a uh, car charger here that you just plug in and it gives it power. And the last thing is for quick charging, it comes with just one that plugs into the wall outlet. But because we're trying to do this on a budget and save money and earn things for free, that's why we're not actually gonna use that. We're gonna use the sun and I'll show you right now. So for context, this is EcoFlow's flagship portable solar panel and it's made from monocrystalline cells. Now granted, I have never done this before. Making it work was pretty easy. Just connect the positive and negative cables from both sides of the solar panel to the generator cable. And then you just plug it into the port on the back of the generator that says solar. And just like that, you're producing free electricity. So to give you a rundown on how to actually get this thing up and running, how it works is this cable that it comes with that I showed you guys a second ago. What you do is it has a positive and a negative. The red is obviously positive and the black is obviously negative. Now there's two wires that are here. One is also positive and one is also negative. So you take the positive end, as you guys can see here, and you plug that into here. And then you take the other side, which is negative, and you plug it into here. And then this completes the circuit. It completes it once you then plug it in right over here. You have to plug it into the back of this box, which I'll show you. Remember when I said you have to plug it into the back here? You plug it into the solar power right here. All right, so this definitely helped, but if you get a better look, it says 245 input, and it's gonna take two hours to complete the charge. Regardless, the one thing that I wanted to show you is you can still charge stuff while you're drawing power. So if I was to plug my phone in right now, watch what would happen. All right, so check this out. My phone is charging right now. You can check at the top right there. And I'm currently drawing power. About 17 watts, 20 watts to charge my phone. And I'm also charging at the same time. In just a couple of, you know, I think I've been out here for about an hour now. We're at 85%, two hours left, maybe 30 minutes playing around with this. But overall, it's pretty cool free energy. So guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I just want to show you super quick how easy it is to pack this thing back up. But as you know, I love sharing things on the channel with you on how to save money. And because EcoFlow is new technology to me and probably to most of you, I knew I had to share this and make a video. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Would you use a device like this? And would you include this into your day-to-day -day life in order to reduce your utility bill? Let me know what you think. Um, but that's going to wrap up. Definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.